Hello everyone, this is Jensen Denoyce, here for a Hero News Special. When you think of the month of March, what is the first thing that comes to mind? March Madness? Spring Break? St. Paddy's Day? Or even your own birthday? Well, one thing that's very significant about the month of March is Women's Month. Women's Month is the moment where we share and admire the great work that women have done throughout history. The story that I read recently was actually coming from a comic book. It was actually coming from Invincible Iron Man. You might probably wonder, what does Invincible Iron Man has to do with Women's Month? Well, to better understand the series, the main character of the series is actually a female. Her name is Riri Williams, not Tony Stark. Riri Williams, to get a better understanding of her origin, is actually an African-American MIT student who's only 15 years old. She's a child genius to the point that she was able to build an armor in her dorm room, to be exact. This caught Tony Stark's attention to see a, a young student is able to build an armor that is as equivalent as his own. So he reached out to her. But one thing that was really difficult was that right away, Tony Stark ended up being in a coma. This was devastating to Riri Williams. However, she decided that she wanted to continue Tony Stark's legacy by being a superhero, just like Tony Stark's armor. So in this story, Riri Williams actually got the chance to meet Pepper Potts, Tony Stark, AKA Iron Man's friend. While they met, a group of ninjas tried to attack them. Riri Williams was devastated, but surprised. But Pepper Potts told Riri Williams that you have no fighting experience. It's better if you run away immediately. So Pepper Potts, who has hand-to-hand -hand combat experience, was able to fight the ninjas while at least hold on her own for a very moment. So, Riri Williams decided to run to a building. Not to escape, but to come up with a plan. And what is her plan? She actually saw a young gentleman with a laptop. She asked the gentleman if she can use the laptop so she can get access to a program that Tony Stark created. When she got access to this program, she was able to contact one of Tony Stark's armors to come rescue them. Yes, the story ended on a cliffhanger, but here's the point of the story. I thought that was really fascinating. And this is my takeaway from the story, was that Riri Williams, during the moment, she didn't have an armor. And when those ninjas approached her, she had every reason to be scared. But she decided to use her intelligence. She decided Instead of running away from the problem, she decided to regroup herself and come up with a solution to help save the others. And I thought that was really magnificent to see that this superhero, young superhero, was able to come up with ideas to rescue others. But how does that correlate to Women's Month? This example of Riri Williams being a hero is an example of the heroes that we experience every day of the women who play a major role in our lives. And throughout history, we've had some really great women who played major roles. Riri Williams' example was a great example to show to younger generations, to younger girls, that it doesn't require gadgets to be a hero, but it requires intelligence, confidence, and willpower. Now that's how you find the hero in you. If you want to share how you're being heroic, please follow us at www.findtheheroinyou. This was a really great story. I really enjoyed it. And thank you for this special segment.